Reactions by Pete. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And today I'm gonna do another automatic drawing verse doodle because last time there were a couple of people that got something out of it and I really like doing these videos. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do an automatic drawing first and then I will do an abstract doodle. Now, a viewer mentioned something about the abstract drawing. They said that our, our brain recognizes patterns, which is, yes, that is absolutely 100% correct. And so as we do this automatic drawing and we're not thinking about anything, that it kind of creates ideas in our brain that we recognize as we do it, our eyes recognize it, not that we're thinking about what we're doing, basically. And our brain recognizes these patterns and then they grow into ideas from there. I know that this is not exactly what they meant, but I wanted to go from the automatic drawing directly into a doodle, and that's exactly what I did, to see if it changed anything. Now, I know that is not exactly fair because I haven't really given my brain any time to think about what just happened or to grow an idea out of what just happened. And this is only an isolated test. I'll probably have to do this a ton of times, which I don't mind. And I'll tell you why, because I've really started to enjoy doing these with this acrylic ink and this glass dip pen. It's become one of my favorite things to do. And so here, the only thing I'm really testing is to see if doing the automatic drawing directly before doing something like this sparks something. Maybe it becomes easier to be creative. Maybe it becomes harder to be creative. I don't really know until I do it. In this particular instance, I actually struggled a little bit with coming up with ideas as I was doodling compared to if I doodle normally and just put things down on paper. And I don't know, maybe my brain was just working uh, kind of in overdrive because I had just done something else and it was trying to make sense of it. And now it's trying to make sense of this new thing that I'm doing and I really didn't give it any time to do that. Either way, this process is fun for me. I'll probably fill up a good part of this book doing exactly what I'm doing right now, doing an automatic drawing, going right into some kind of doodle and see if it makes any difference, see if it helps me at all. Now, we'll say that the person that commented on this is a designer, and they're saying that since they've done the automatic drawing, that they're, it's, it's helped them in their design process. And so I'm really interested to see if it helps me here with these abstract doodles that I keep doing. Or maybe it just helps me with my creativity overall and I start to develop new ideas easier. You know, it's a little bit difficult to come up with ideas for these videos and sometimes the things that I wanna talk about. And I'm gonna tell you a little funny story about that. So a lot of times I'm developing what I wanna say in these videos and I'm, while I do that, I'm usually sitting in my car driving back and forth to work and I'm talking to myself and I can't imagine when people look over and you know sometimes I'm getting into it and I might be making a weird funny face or something and I'm just talking a mile a minute trying to develop this idea and people are looking over at me and they must think that I am absolutely nuts that there's this guy talking to himself and you know he looks like he's angry sometimes or maybe sometimes he looks like he's happy and laughing and maybe he's on the maybe they just think I'm on the phone that would be my best bet. If they just thought I was on the phone, I'd be okay with that. But I tell you, I'm, I'm gonna really, I know I relate a lot of stuff to music, but I just wanna say that coming up with these ideas, you know, I, I've been trying to create this YouTube channel for a long time and just have not done it. So I had a lot of ideas already written down and, and some ideas I wanted to talk about, that kind of stuff. But it's like a band when they first get together and they put out their first album and it's all great songs. Every one of them's a hit because they take all the ones they've been working on for the past years, put them all on one. And then their second album comes out and it's garbage or and maybe not garbage, but at least it's not as good as the first one. And I struggle. That's a, that's a real struggle that I have making sure that I do something that's a little bit interesting, something that I enjoy and something I think that you will enjoy and get something out of. Okay, well, if you think this drawing is a little strange, this conversation is about to get really weird. So I'm going to share something very personal, and it is something that has gotten me into a lot of trouble. So sometimes I will be talking to someone, and this slow, creepy smile develops on my face. And it usually happens at the worst possible moment, like when someone's getting mad, 
or when someone is sad about something or telling me a terrible experience they had. And it's not, I tell people it's a nervous thing that I do, but it's not really a nervous thing that's happening. What's happening is in my mind, I am picturing almost in a third person type way that this would be a terrible time to start smiling. This would be a terrible time to start laughing. What would someone think if right now I started smiling during this terrible story or during this when they're getting angry or whatever the case is? And that makes me smile. And I picture what that would look like to someone on the outside when someone is telling them this terrible story and then the person starts smiling. They must think I'm a terrible person. And it's not because I don't have uh, empathy and I cannot feel for that person. Absolutely can. It is a struggle every time because I think about it. So every time someone is telling me a serious story, I start thinking about it. And it's not so bad if it's a friend of yours that's getting angry or something and you, you start to do that and then they just get angry and they walk away. But when you're doing this, when your boss is yelling or um, oh, it, I used to do this as a kid growing up, my mother would be yelling and get angry at me and I would just develop this stupid smile and she'd yell, get that smile off your face. And I couldn't because now I'm really picturing it. I've done this my whole life. It didn't matter what part of my life it was. I've always been picturing this. And I wish it was... <laughs> I'm sure it's something I can control at some point on some level. Because it doesn't always happen. But just when it does happen, it is at the worst possible time. And um, I, I feel bad when I do that. Because I, I don't want to. I don't want to make the person feel like what they're saying is not important or that I'm not listening. I hear everything they're saying. I'm just also picturing that instance and it makes me smile. So if you ever meet me and for some reason you're telling me something serious and I start to smile, you'll know why. And hopefully you will not get angry at me. But I know you can't promise that because sometimes when you're angry or when you're upset and someone smiles, it's, it's kind of angering or upsetting in itself. And I know what you're thinking. And yes, my poor wife, she has to deal with this all the time. Luckily, she's used to me and she just shakes her head and usually walks away. I don't want to make it seem like it's every conversation or every serious thing. Most of the time, I am, don't do that. But when I do, it's pretty bad. Okay, so this drawing isn't coming out very bad. It, it's it's not terrible at all. I was pretty much in a steady flow. There was a couple of times where I had to think about what I really wanted to do and where I wanted to go with it. But for the most part, it was not that bad. In the end, I was very happy with it. A while ago, I mentioned that I wanted to do some kind of giveaway, and I do. So what I'm going to do is at 25 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to make it very simple, very easy. It's not going to be something where you have to jump through hoops and go on here and tag your friends and do all this and then subscribe over here. And, you know, well, it's not going to be that way. It'll just be something very simple. Um, I was thinking something along the lines of uh, post a picture on Instagram and tag me in it. It could be something you draw. It can be something you just take a picture of and post on there. Maybe it's your pet or whatever it is, but something that means something to you. So down in the comments, just let me know if you think that's a good idea. If you think that's something that's very simple and it sounds like you would be interested in entering that kind of a contest. And let me tell you, I have looked, <laughs> I've seen some contests that I said, wow, I really wish I could enter that contest, but the amount of things they want you to do, I don't have that kind of time. It, it take me, a week to get all that stuff done and together before I could enter that contest and by that time it would be over. Yeah, I don't want to do that to you. You're good people and you deserve better than that. So something else I'd like you to mention down in the comments when you let me know if you think that that's a good idea is what was the last contest you entered and did you win? Was it was it something you really wanted and you didn't win? Some people say they never win contests I'm like a 50-50 shot. No, I'm not really 50-50. It's more like a 10-90 shot. 10% of the time I win, 90% of the time I don't. Oh, it's probably worse than that. 
okay, okay. It's probably like a 99% of the time that I don't win 1% that maybe I do. I usually don't. But on occasion, I will get surprised and I'll win something. So let me know what the contest was and what you wanted and let me know if you won or not. All right, so this is really the last question. I'm gonna, you can answer any of these or some of these or none of these or all of these. I would just really like to hear from you. So I've been getting into audiobooks and I like audiobooks. Can Do you consider it? Can I say I've read a book if it was an audiobook? If it was the actual book, it wasn't a, a movie, it wasn't something separate than the actual book, it was just read and I listened to it instead of me actually reading it. Do, would you, can I say that? Can I say I read a book? I think I can because it's the exact same information. It's just how you take it in. It's whether you took it in through your eyes or your ears. But basically, it's the exact same information. I think you can say, yeah, I read this book. I might have read it while I was doing something else, and I listened to it, but I read it. Let me know your thoughts on that. I'm very interested to hear what you say about that. Okay, well, this one is about done. I really got a lot out of doing it. I hope you got a lot out of watching it. Here's a couple more videos. If you enjoy what you saw, you can go ahead and watch them. I will see you in the next video. Bye.